Hello everyone and whenever you are, wherever you are, I hope that you are okay and everything is going well with you. So this is Teacher Essam with you and we in Group Scholar Bourgogne, we try to give online lessons. So please uh, pay attention with us and we hope that you benefit from our lessons. So today's lesson is about writing. And we're going to talk about how to write a paragraph. Of course, this is a lesson for second year baccalaureate students. Before we start, as you know, this year, you have to write either a paragraph or an essay or an article, or it can be a letter or an email. So we're going to try, first of all, to learn how to write a paragraph, because if you write a paragraph, you can write all of them. So please pay attention. And let's start. So, first of all, we need to define the paragraph. So, what is a paragraph first? A paragraph is simply a group of words that create a couple of sentences which develop a main idea. A paragraph cannot include more than one main idea from which comes a number of supporting ideas. So, we need to explain this. A paragraph is a group of words, which means when you take a paragraph, you find that there are a lot of words. And these words are divided into nouns, adjectives, prepositions, adverbs, etc. And all of these words make sentences that are separated by full stops. And these sentences make a paragraph. So, a paragraph cannot include more than one main idea. What is main means important idea, from which comes a number of supporting ideas. For example, let's say that we would like to talk about or to write about pollution. I cannot write the causes, the effects, and the solutions in one paragraph. So, for example, a paragraph can, be talk, can talk only about causes or consequences or solutions. And these causes are called supporting ideas. They can be two or three or four. It depends on how many causes you would like to write. So, a paragraph must include four important elements which are look at this before talking about these elements the types of paragraphs that you have this year can be either a narrative paragraph for example if you write about your free time descriptive like for example you describe your school argumentative like for example we have two different opinions like women work, people who are for and people who are against, or cause and effects paragraph, like for example smoking or pollution, as we said. So, let's take an argumentative paragraph that talks about women work. And this paragraph talks about the opinion of people who say that the best place for a woman is outside the house. So, let's read it first and let's concentrate with the elements of this paragraph. Several reasons are behind women work. <clears throat> From the outset, we can say that women work because they find it as an outlet. In other words, women tend to work to fulfill their dreams and implement all that they study in, in their schools. Besides, women work to give financial help to their families. That is to say, a woman's job brings a second salary to the family, which helps the family as a whole because the cost of living is always going up. Furthermore, the woman feels she is an active member in society. To clarify this, women also take part in social development. They have already taken men's jobs, like secretaries, nurses, bus drivers, plumbers, bosses, as well as other similarly important jobs. So, look at this paragraph, please, and let's start with the first sentence. The first sentence here, which is written in red, says, Several reasons are behind women's work. This is what we call a topic sentence. So, what is a topic sentence? Normally, it is the first sentence in the paragraph, and it, it tells us what is the paragraph about. So, several reasons are behind women's work, which means in this paragraph, I am going to talk about why women work outside several reasons behind women work so the topic is women work and in this paragraph i'm going to talk about the reasons why women work then i'm going to talk about these reasons what are these reasons look at the sentences in blue 
We can say that women work because they find it as an outlet, because they like to have it as a reward after a long time of studying. Women work to give financial help to their families. They want to help their families financially with money. The woman feels she is an active member in society. So all of these are supporting ideas that support the topic sentence. What about words in green? Words in green are called linking words. And these linking words are divided into two parts. Look, the first part is from the outset, besides, furthermore. So these are called addition linking words, which means the add ideas. And there are other linking words like in other words, that is to say, to clarify this, so these linking words, they explain, they explain these supporting ideas. Then we have another element which is written in black, which is the explanation of these supporting ideas. For example, women tend to work to fulfill their dreams, I'm explaining here. A woman's job brings a second salary, I'm explaining here. Women also take part, I'm explaining here, which means Simply, the paragraph must include four important elements, which are the topic sentence, which is written in red, the supporting ideas, which are written in blue, the linking words, which are written in green, and we said that there are two types, and also the fourth element, which is the explanation of the supporting ideas, which is written here, in black and the explanation can be more than uh, the others because we explain we can give examples so this is what we call a clear well organized paragraph when we finish of course writing our paragraphs we need we need to pay attention to a lot of things like punctuation spelling grammar etc so things that we mustn't do or we shouldn't do while writing Number one, don't use the word something because it's a general word. Don't use general adjectives like good and bad. Everything which is positive, I say it's good. Everything which is negative, I say it's bad. So don't use them a lot. Don't repeat the same supporting idea. Like, don't repeat one idea twice or thrice. Like, every idea should be separated from the other even in their meaning. Don't use short forms like isn't, doesn't, aren't, use full form like is not, does not, are not, would not, because the short form e was meant for speaking, not for writing. Don't write long sentences, write short, simple sentences, because writing is not about how many words you put, is about the way how you write. Don't explain an idea more than another one. That's what we call the balance of the paragraph, like try to explain the ideas or the supporting ideas equally. And don't translate from French or Arabic into English, and we mean here by translation, word for word translation. Which means, don't translate word for word because it doesn't make sense. Things that we should do. We should include the four important elements, which are the topic sentence, the supporting ideas, the linking words, the explanation of these ideas. We should punctuate our paragraph well. We shouldn't just decorate it with some uh, punctuation. We need to punctuate it with full stops, commas, capitalization, etc. We should be careful to spell mistakes. Of course, we need to revise it in order to spot these mistakes and correct them. We need to use the right tense. It depends on the paragraph. For example, if they asked us to write something in the past, like... How was your holiday in the past or what did you do? Where did you go? I'm going to use the past. The paragraph that we have just seen is about uh, for or against argumentative paragraph, the present, etc. And also we should write in a clear handwriting because if your handwriting is not uh, clear, it's difficult for teachers to correct. I hope that you understood what we said today to do another video and to see and to watch another video inshallah next time. I hope that you stay safe and sound, take care of yourselves and see you and talk to you next time inshallah.